Hey, hi there you guys, Aries. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your weekend reading, March 15th through the 17th of 2019. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Aries. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. This is you, Aries, number four of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Emperor. This has to do with authority and leadership. This is the fruits of toil and the results of labor. It's also the results of your action and your will. This is controlled and directed attention, and you're exercising power wisely has to do with structure and control and authority and laws and rules. This is someone powerful. This may be you or you may feel like you're under the influence of this person. This is love through healthy boundaries, stability and power and protection. This is a father figure. They're a beneficent ruler and they will fight for what is right and what is their duty to protect. So look for issues related to authority. This is a protective male force, especially of the home and of domestic harmony. He tells us that what is worth having is worth fighting for. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Six of Swords, Aries. This is air energy. Air energy always has to do with the thoughts in your mind. This is leaving your troubles behind. There's mental healing and support here. Transition and recovery. Now there's going to be smooth sailing. It's the calm after the storm. Could even be a move or a journey. Traveling. This transition will go smoothly. It's relief at what you left behind. Could even be going on a short trip somewhere. This could e even be a spiritual journey. But the storm is broken, and now calm sets in. So be open for how things develop. You may need a little patience. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Five of Pentacles, Aries. This is Earth Energy. You have a natural progression in your reading here. Two, three, four, five, and six. Things will go in order in your life. You might have a temporary illness or a lack of security here. You're struggling together with someone and sharing hardships with someone else. Someone may have been unemployed or had some financial loss. Could have been some doubts, but it's okay to ask for help because assistance and support is available. You're not alone, and hardships will pass away. You might feel crippled by circumstances or temporary ill health or someone around you, someone complaining. They may have felt unstable and have some scarcity thinking, but your friends are supportive. This is someone that feels anxious about being able to support themselves and others. They might feel ashamed about it, so they're fearful of asking for help or relying on the support of others. And sometimes ill health can prevent you from bringing in the money you need. You're not alone. In times of need, the lesson is to reach out to others. These connections are what make our life special and allows us to persevere through the hard times. So be grateful for those who have our back and reach out to others. 
Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Wonderful results here, Aries. Number three of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Empress. This could be a Libra or a Taurus because the governing planet is Venus. This represents material abundance, fertility, and fruitfulness. This is nurturing and natural growth. can also represent someone's mother or someone being mothering and nurturing. See, the Empress represents the productive, generative activities in the subconscious after it has been impregnated by seed ideas. The subconscious has control over all the steps of development in the material world. It is the multiplicator of images. This card represents material wealth and marriage. There's fertility here, especially for people that want to be parents. This is a great card for people in the creative arts. There's love through compassion and nurturing. It's an opening to pleasure and beauty and abundance. There's passion and sensual involvement with the world. It's a time of passion and of sexual desire and enjoyment of life. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. This is the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number two of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck, the High Priestess. This card is ruled by the Moon and Venus. It's female energy. It's passive and it represents emotion. There's hidden influences here and secret knowledge. This is the link between the seen and the unseen. And there's latent power to manifest. But this is a period of gestation before new life. It has to do with divine truth and wisdom. And nurturing the spark of creation. This is the connection with the unconscious world. Esoteric studies. Unrevealed future. And hidden influences at work. This has special value for artists and poets, composers and mystics. This is honoring your inner being. There's natural insight here, some secrets and mystery, silence, tenacity and wisdom. It has to do with the unknown. It's a time when it is better to sit still. So seek peace within yourself. Seek awareness. Be still. See the High Priestess? She holds a scroll that represents the Akashic Records. That's the divine records of our lives, past, present, and future. There's something yet to be revealed. It's hidden or interior, and it's preparing to come forth. Or you may need to pay more attention to your inner world of dreams, imagination, and intuition. The High Priestess advises us to develop in these areas or you may have been holding back out of fear or inertia. And now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. This card is Begin Now. Take your first step. Every journey starts with the first step. There is no moment better than the present one to begin. You might not feel ready, but never, nevertheless, it's now time to start. A new cycle is beginning. Wipe the site clean and get going. Release familiar routines and stagnant situations or challenging relationships that no longer support or empower you. You're at the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new and exciting one. Set your sails for new horizons. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that there are times when the traveler needs to separate from family, friends, and acquaintances to enter new places within himself or herself. Sometimes a traveler must go beyond what is familiar in order to be open to transformation and change. Thus the journey brings a heightened sense of awareness and ignites mindfulness. Sometimes it can feel difficult to take that first step, but unless you do it, you'll never know the joy and fulfillment that awaits you. Do it now. Here's your take note moment. 
When we focus with another on some kind of problem they may be having, you guys are not helping, due to you are both adding energy to the problem. The energy is going to the problem. So change your focus on what you do want. Speak about the desire and not about the problem. We can turn our lives around, but the only way to do that is by changing what we focus on. We are the cause. Our life is the effect. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So here I go. I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.